Hey guys, it's Sharon back with Little Britain Company and I have shockingly another tutorial for you. I'm always messing with my hair. Um, <laughs> today I am really excited to do the, um, the, the envelope tutorial or the envelope album. I think they're really fun. Um, and I love that you can store your cards. You can, you know, the Valentine cards that you get, you can make them for your kids when they're doing, um, when they're, you know, in school, they often, especially elementary school, they do like the Valentine exchange. You can have a place where they can actually get to them. You know, it's not just in a big pile. So um, this is a full tutorial. We're going to start beginning to end. So it's going to be a little bit long. I know I'm going for my hair again. Um, it's <laughs> It'll be a little bit long, but um, I promise you stick with it. It's going to be worth it. And, you know, if, there, if you get something that you're like, oh, I know how to do this, please fast forward and just go to the next section. Um, I will say that um, although I've seen a lot of different envelope albums um, and I got a little bit from different places, some of it's just me, uh, a lot of this, um, I really follow Helen Griffin uh, out of the UK. She does just amazing albums, amazing work. And she has, she does a number of different ones. This is pretty close to one of the ones that she does. So I, if I remember, I'll try to link it so that you can see the two together. Um, but this one's just going to be our Valentine one. So let's get started. Okay, so let me show you a few things that we're going to use today. Um, these are, if you saw my last tutorial, these are a few cards that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, in that last tutorial. And then um, these are the insides of some of the cards that I used to make these cute little uh, Valentine ornaments. Um, there's one, here's another one, uh, just to make some of those. So I'm using up uh, some of those pieces. Here are some of the envelopes that these are ones we're gonna be using today. We're gonna make, I think I wanted to make it's not going to be six. But anyway, we're going to make several signatures. Um, I'm going to be using this paper pack. This is um, the from Park Lane. So this is Joanne. Uh, Joanne Fabric. Put This is their brand. Um, I'm using that one. I'm going to be using my glue. And this is Art Glitter Glue. This is my favorite. Um, I do buy these little... Um, containers to put put it into because I don't like using it's just very difficult to use a big one these are just nice and controllable and I just refill them um, just a little tip if you're going to refill them I got these at Hobby Lobby you can also get these from um, Timu I think I have some now from Timu this particular pack came from Hobby Lobby um, and I got two sets in this one there's a one that's slightly smaller when you're filling them if you're, you know, filling from a big bottle, because this is the cheapest way, way for me to buy it, is this 16 ounce. I'm just going to tell you, the 16 ounce is the cheapest way to buy the Art Glitter Glue. When you go into a higher ounces, for whatever reason, it was more, exp more expensive. Um, anyway, when, if you fill them, just go slow. Super, super slow, because it'll... It'll jam up at the top and overflow, and it's yeah, just not worth it. You don't want to waste any of this because even if the 16 ounce is cheaper, it's still expensive. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll also be doing some cutting and maybe some paper rounding. And I am going to, I think I'm going to use some of these cool um, packages of stickers and band. That's a banner from Timu. So um, those are going to be a little bit of my. Um, embellishments. Uh, this this is uh, also one that I got from Timu. This is just super cool. Um, these are like crocheted. They're, they're gorgeous. Uh, so I may be using some of those. So we've got a couple of different places that, yes, yeah, Sophia's hair gets everywhere, seriously. Um, and I am sorry ahead of time if the camera jiggles a little bit. I um, couldn't get the other stand. Uh, it's in a different room, so I'm going to go with this one. Hopefully, it'll be okay. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I will tell you ahead of time, I have pre-cut <clears throat> these two pieces for my front and back. I am not doing a spine, per se. I'll show you what we're going to be doing. And these pieces are, uh, they're approximately five and a quarter 
by seven and a half. So it's going to be five and a quarter. Okay. This is five and a quarter inches this way. Seven and a half that way. So I'm going to hold there for a second so you can take a look at it. I know it's got shadow. Look at that shadow. Okay. Hopefully that's going to help. So front and back, we're going to cover that with some nice paper. But I'm going to move these things out of the way to start with. And I'm just going to start working on my envelopes. And this is just going to be pretty super easy. I am, however, do, do, do what I do with it. See, I always think I'm ready. I always think I'm ready. And then I'm like, <gasps> almost. I was almost ready. One second. I need to get a ruler. I'm actually going to use, there you go, knocking the thing around. I'm going to be using one of my um, quilting rulers. Now, although that might sound strange, just, just bear with me and I'll show you why. I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So I've got some, all right. I'm trying to get rid of the. Um, Oh, my brain. Um, the shadows. Okay, so this is a quilting ruler. If you're unfamiliar, this is an Omnigrid. Um, and the reason uh, I'm calling it a quilting ruler is because it gives us these wonderful marks when I'm trying to um, bleh, I can't think. Um, in particular, when I'm marking where I want to sew. Uh, but today, I'm going to use it to mark where I want to put my glue. The reason I'm doing it this way now, if I was Helen Griffin, she's so good at this, she does not need to draw a line. I do. Um, and the reason I'm going to do it this way is because I want to give... That should be good. I want there to be a wee bit of space at the... Um, I think I'll just show you. Uh, when when we start, we're going to attach these pieces this way. Ah, if I can only, only had a brain. Uh, we're going to attach the pieces like this. This is going to become one of our signatures. And when we attach them like this, we want this bottom to have a little bit of space so that when you're filling it, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't... Uh, she called it alligator mouth. It doesn't. It doesn't force the front like way open, like it's sitting open like this, and the bottom is, is tight shut. Hopefully you'll know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mark that on um, each of these, and then we're just we're just gonna go with it from, from that point. Um, I am gonna put a little bit of glue on the outside. I don't need there to be a huge amount of open space. I do need to make sure that I am putting these together, but I'm not going to worry a whole lot about it. Um, and the reason I'm not going to worry a whole lot about it is because we're going to be adding something to it to hold these together. Let me make sure that I've got them where I want them to be. I'm lining them up here. And then, there we go. One. Do cap this right away, by the way, guys. Right now, because it's relatively full and I, I just pushed some air out, so it's gonna form, it's gonna actually be pushing more of it out. Um, you absolutely wanna cap that right away. Okay, so now we did that. Ooh, our glue moved around a little bit. So we've got a little bit of space here. It's gonna help give us a little bit more. All right. One down. And I'm doing, this is about 3 16ths of an inch. That's how much space I'm actually. And I need to use a little bit less glue because my glue really kind of went over. So I'm going to do that. Let's see, how many do I have here? Two, four, okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mark one for each of these sets. 
and then we're just going to glue them all together at once. And that's what I meant. This is going to be a, a full tutorial, meaning that I'm just going to do it from beginning to end. Um, that's that one. So I'm not going to break this up into um, different sections. I'm not going to have different, uh, wow, I can't think. Um, <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not making it into a series. That's what I'm looking for. Good gracious. Um, so I just want everybody to be able to hear. So everybody can see. Move that one out of the way. Hopefully you'll be able to really see what it is I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm just lining it up. That's it. I'm trying to get it nice and even. Sophia here. That's all I'm doing. Um, so, so did I get one nice? Nice and straight. Okay. So, next, just pull it out a little bit. Next, I'm just going to, and I'm, I put way too much glue on the first one, and it really, because this glue is going to spread a little bit. So, I need to be cautious. Even there, I'm getting pretty close to the edge. I want to be cautious. <laughs> This glue spreads. If you haven't used it, it it'll spread. Um, so again, I'm lining these up so that they're really back to back. That's what I want to do. Now, is it going to be perfect? Maybe not, but it doesn't matter. And let's see how we did on this one. Yeah, that's better. So I've got a little bit of give at the bottom and that's really what I wanted to have. Just a wee bit of give on the bottom. Okay, next one. Honestly, this red on red is a pain. <laughs> it's hard to see. It's so funny. Again, oh, how far off am I? I'm not. That's weird. Okay. So this envelope, look at that. These are going together perfectly, but look at how they misaligned here. Can you see that? That's so weird. It doesn't matter. You won't see that. I'm not worried about it. It really doesn't matter. Okay, we've got two more to do. Now you can do as few or as many as you want. It sure as heck doesn't have to be this big one that I'm doing. My sister, Kathy, who's no longer with us, I think this is something she would have really enjoyed. She was a wonderful correspondent. She was just so good keeping in touch with people and Letter writing and writing. I think she would have really enjoyed this. She would have just had a, she, had a, she has a birthday coming up. Okay, there's another one. And last, but certainly not least. Go ahead and do this one. Like I said, if you get, you know, if, if you do a bunch of these, you probably won't have to draw the lines. But for me, it just, I just like the evenness of it. Oh, as I go over the edge. I like the evenness of it. 
The glue does give you, I like using the glue because it gives me a little bit of leeway. Oh, these envelopes are slightly off. Isn't that interesting? Again, it's going to be fine, but because once we do what we're going to do with them, I want to make sure. Okay. Interesting. Aha, look at that. So maybe I had other matches in there. Okay, so we've got this far. We've gone this far. These are looking pretty good. I have a plan to do something with this one now because it's <laughs> it will bother me that it's slightly off. Um, but there are some different things that I could do here. Um, here are my, my different ones. Um, I could call them signatures, but we're going to end up attaching them. But the next thing I really want to do, I think I have a fresh blade in here. This is definitely something I learned from Helen Griffin. Is I want to go ahead and do a slight opening on these. And I'm going to kind of decide where that's going to be. It's going to be pretty slight. And the reason I'm doing this is so um, so I can use these, I can slide things in them. So it's a bit of a sliver. So I'm going to try to do that about the same for each one. And again, I really am just getting as close to a sliver as I can. I'll take a look at that. Oh, that's going together pretty well. When I'm done, this one's slightly. There. Oh, did I get them both? I'm just, I did. I wasn't sure I got that one. Okay. So, by doing them both at one time, I'm sorry, not both. By doing all of them at the same time, I can measure them up and make sure that I've got them about right. Uh, because we don't want them to be, you know, you don't want your envelopes to be seriously off um, and in different sizes. <laughs> Like this one. This one is just going to be my difficult child. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, I want you to see. Um, I took off about, I literally took off the same. <laughs> and when I put them together, they're actually pretty spot on. Pretty spot on. Wow. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do before I put, put these together, everybody does it different ways, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to decide kind of the directionality of it all. Um, we've got just a weird shadow going here, don't we? Huh. Um, okay, so... I'm going to start by putting some of these cards on. I really like these cards. And I want to use... I'm going to use this one. Okay. And I'm not... There's nothing fancy here. I'm going to line it up. I want you to see this is the card is going to be slightly smaller than the envelope. It's okay. That's just fine. I mean, that is the way the card is. And I am going to pretty much want to get it fairly center stage. Um, so there's a lot I'm doing with these just to get started. And this is this is super easy. We're just, I don't really have to do the whole thing. Oh, come on. I do want to make sure that I get the inside of both of these. 
uh, because I want to make sure that it holds, that both sides are holding to down here um, to the cards, right? It, up in the middle, not so bad, but I need both of these to hold on. Let's see. Now I'm eyeballing. I think that's about center. Not too bad. Now, don't worry about the rest of this. We're not done, and we're not done with this. All right, that's one. Um, so as I start to do this, as you start to do this, you're going to start to realize how substantial putting these pieces in really makes your, um, your little booklet here. Okay. All right, so we do that again. And I am trying, I'm actually getting more glue than I want to, got to tell you. So there's a lot of glue on both sides of this. Remember that this top part, not the fold in the middle, but the top part, that's the part that's going to go um, against this uh, triangular piece. Okay. Those two are down. They were the easy ones. And I do want to make sure I haven't had any glue seepage because I don't want this to glue together. I'm double checking the other ones. All right. Two down. Move those over here. Now, um, I will tell you, I have already with these, I went ahead and I, um, this was the actual pre, the, the, the previously cut edge of the card. This part I cut. Now, it doesn't really matter what side I, what sides I do to let you know. Um, I do want to make sure, see that one, that one got a little bit funky right there. Um, and I'm just going to do a slight, most of them I think I got pretty spot on. There we go. Just a little trim there. I could put them like this. Put them like this. I'm going to do them like this just because I think it gives me the best um, edging, the best um, openings. Oh, that doesn't sound right. The most amount of white space. That's, that's what I mean. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, this time they're going to go on individually. That's pretty much it. I'm going to do one at, you know, I'm just going to do one at a time. This is just bubbling on me. Um, this is shiny. Okay. And I'm trying to find kind of my middle space there. And honestly, for this one, all I have to do is this. Actually, don't have to do. I've already done the top part, so for this one, I'll do it this way. I am not notice. I am not going all the way to the crevice. Come on. Um, I'm lining these up as best I can. Right about there. The glue gives you like an extra instant. There we go. Perfect. Um, I did, I'm trying not to, to put it right on the middle, right right on the bend or um, yeah, right on the fold. Um, Cause I'm trying to give myself space. So this now has approximately the same amount of space. So the next two, let me trim that for a second. And that should be my last two. Make sure, oh, that's interesting. So that is interesting. Those two are not the same height. 
are these. Those appear to be. And those are. So, all right, so let's put them together like this. Odd, but not a big deal. Okay. Let's just finish with those last two. And rock on. Getting the first one in place is pretty important. I want, oh, make sure y'all can see. Let's put that down a little bit so you can see even better. Okay. So, but I am also still eyeballing it. And I will tell you, I pulled it out just a touch before I put that down. Now I'm only gonna do the inside. I already have glue on the rest of it. And again, I'm not putting my glue all the way to the fold. And I'm going to line this one up to the other card. Here we go. It's looking pretty good. It's non I'm too shabby. That's not bad. Okay. And last but not least. Oh, I'm doing the wrong. I'm trying to open it the wrong way. Okay, last one. And this is oh, this one got a little bit attached. That's okay. This is the weird one. This is one of the weird ones. So no worries. We're doing it exactly the same way we did the other ones. Other than when I put this one together, actually, I'm going to do it from the bigger, because this one is a slightly smaller envelope, which has kind of thrown off my game a bit. And yeah, but I'm not going to worry about that because I have a plan. <laughs> I keep saying that. I've got a plan. Uh, I need to be more careful with my glue. You really don't want to let this glue sit. I think I've said that, but it really will start to solidify on you. It is a quick drying glue, which is great most of the time. Let me do that and that real quick. And then this, I'm, I'm still centering this piece. If you can see that, I'm trying to center it on this bigger envelope, what, what appears to me to be a slightly bigger envelope. Compare those in a minute and see which one's bigger. All right, and now, last one. And here we go. I'm still lining this one up with the card below. Okay. Now. Okay, so this this envelope was smaller than the rest of them. The rest of them were all the same. I don't know how I missed that. But I'm not gonna let that worry me and here's why. Um, I'm going to use this and I will, this will end up being, this part will end up being attached and then it'll have some paper over it. So you really won't notice. I can do that on the front or I can do that at the back. I might make that into the back. And again, this doesn't matter. This siding doesn't matter. All right, so now we're going to start doing the insides. This is really pretty quick. All things considered. So we have one, two, three, we have five of the signatures still. And you know, what am I gonna do now? I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach these pieces. Yeah, 
So this is the one with the slightly smaller envelope. I'm gonna make that into the back. The rest of these, we're gonna be good to go. With this, with this, these, with this again, I am going to draw my line. Because I still still want to make sure that I have room for this thing to breathe. So and notice I'm I do not nor I don't put glue all the way to the ends of the um, envelope. And that is because Come on. I do, however, talk to the envelopes. Being very difficult. There we go. Okay. So now. This bottom one is giving me all sorts of problems. I'll fix it. But <laughs> it's just starting to get on my nerves. Okay. So this, this one has gone together fairly well. And I'll tell you again, because I say it all the time, I'm not perfect. My projects, I think the projects come out looking okay, but sometimes midstream, they don't look as perfect as I want them to look. I think they usually come out okay. Okay, so I think I was saying the reason I don't go all the way to the corners and all the way up to the very edges is because this glue is going to spread. It, it really will. I do wanna make sure I get good coverage, but that glue is gonna spread. And I'm not, let's see, which one did I put in? I put that one in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this one in next. So with this one, I'm gonna try. That should be lined up perfectly on that one. Yeah, I think that one's lined up. It's honestly just that, ba that back one that has the weird envelopes that's giving me problems, but that's okay. We're good. All right. And again, you don't need to do this drawing part that I do. You really don't. I'm just funky. <laughs> I'm just funky that way. This art glitter glue is just a, such a gorgeous thing. I love it so much. I don't have any problems with it, ever. It holds, it gives me just a wee bit of leeway. All right, let's see what we got so far. That one, that one, okay, that one. It's all good, okay. Looking good. Okay, last one. Now I, often for my albums, I will do the whole, um, get that off, it's fine. But for this one, and again, Helen Griffin, I think is a genius. Um, 
I mean, plenty of albums. But doing it like this so you have kind of, it almost creates an accordion album. Sorry about the jiggling. Um, here we go. I think this is the best way I have figured out how to line that. There we go. All right. So we're pretty well lined up here. We've got this piece together. I am closing up my glue for a minute. We've got a little bit of breathing room in the back. So it can expand a little bit like that. That one might have a little bit. And right now when you open it, this is what you're seeing. This is not gonna be the finished product, uh, but this is what you get to see at the moment. We're still working on it. Um, also, you could fill this with your actual cards. Um, so my suggestion is if you wanted to use um, actual cards that you were getting, let's say you were doing this for a birthday, I would probably take the back of this and the back of another card and I would sandwich them the same way we did this so I could still open the cards and read them. Um, the, the biggest problem with that is you're going to have one card upside down. So you may have to do it slightly differently, but yeah, one card would have to be upside down. You wouldn't want to attach the fronts. Can't think about that. Um, but you could still do it. You could still do this one. You could still do one of these and put like a flat back behind it the way we did this. No, the way we did this so that this would be the back of the card and you would still be able to open it. But I'd have to rethink. Yeah, you would just do... Huh. I have to think about it. One card would open this way, and one card would open that way, which might, that's what it was. That's what was feeling funky to me. Okay, all right. So now I'm gonna pull, we're gonna pull back out for a minute so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to um, cover the front and the back. So now I'm moving on to the front and back. Let's go ahead and open this. I'm gonna go ahead and open this, and then I'm gonna show you all. Do, do, do. Sure I will. Let me get these out. Uh, scissors. I just had scissors. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you what's in these before we start cutting into them so you can see all the different papers. This is uh, their 2024 um, Valentine um, 6 by 8 inch. They also have this in 12 by 12. So you get all these cute little cutouts. You get two pages of each thing. I think this is adorable. These are really cute, and we might use some of these. I like the confetti. Let me go in a little bit. There we go. So you can see the confetti. This is like a little chocolate bar. Super cute. I thought about getting the 12 by 12, but um, so we've got hearts. Cute little flowers. Love the envelopes. That is super cute. I gotta use that somewhere in here. Oh, the Valentine coupon, love bucks. Um, this is very cute. Perfect date night. Um, then we've got more flowers. Um, another cut apart. This one is Oh, tops and bottom type thing. Um, that's cute. The exos and the lips, the love, the hearts. That's very cute. Okay. It's like little, little orange dots almost. Can you see that? Maybe pink. They're probably pink. Almost like a little raindrop. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that embossed. Can you, yeah, look at that. There was another embossed one. I think I didn't show it to you properly. Um, cute X's and O's. I love, y'all know I love a good stripe. This diamond one, it's almost like a color you one. This one's embossed again, if you can see that. Cute. 
Oh, Forever Cutie Pie, Soulmate, Together, My Favorite, Mi Amore, I Love You, Hugs and Kisses. All right, that uh, stinking adorable. Um, you got that's pretty black hearts in on my thing. There's a lot of black in here. <laughs> I'm a little traditional when I think about um, Valentine. That's cute. All right, so adorable. We're going to be using a lot of papers from in here. I will tell you that just to start with. Um, so let me think about what's going to go on the front and the back. What do we want on the front and the back? Maybe that? I like how that lightens everything up. I think that's cute. Um, the chocolate bars are okay. I think that's too dark. Sorry, guys. Oh, this is the one that had the foil, if you can see the foil in there. And I really like this kind of ticket stub. Hmm. We could be very traditional. I think I'm gonna go with this one, actually, for the front and the back. I think that's cute. Okay. Oh, let me see something here. Okay. These are actually eight and a half inches, and I think it's to accommodate this. So you still have eight inches of full cut out here. All right, let's move that aside for a minute. So it's super simple. Super duper simple. So for this one, oh, let me do that a little bit more. All right. I am just going to, just going to attach them. Lots of good glue here. I'm okay if I go to the edge here um, because it's not going to interfere with anything else. It's drying fast. All right. And then I'm going to put it mm, pretty much in the middle because I really do want to be able to fold that over a little bit. Let me do this one. I'm going to go ahead and just get to my blue thing on. Okay. I'm more making sure that I've got a, it centered fairly well with these bottom three sides. So, all right, that one's done. Now, I need to cover it, and I'm going to use, if I can find it, I just had it. Ugh, ay, ay, ay. One second, please. So I have these great, this great little tool that I got from Timu. And it should be right here, because it was right here earlier. I, I actually had two of them in my hand earlier, and somehow I managed to lose them. I am so talented at that, I cannot believe it. All right, so I have this great cornering tool. Did it fall in there? What the heck? This is crazy. I had, okay. Well, I don't have to have it, but I would have liked to have shown it to you all. <laughs> That, it really is super weird, because I, I was looking at it earlier, and I found, oh, there it is. Oh, my golly. I made it disappear. I have two, like, I, okay, so when I said that I have two of these, and I keep saying that, because one of these is not, was not in this container, but this is why I got two of them, because I'll lose one. 
It's so sad. <laughs> All right, let me move things out of the way. So this is a great way to, um, if I was going to have a spine on here, I could put this would give me space between the spine and then I could do it with each of them. Um, I'm just going to use my cornering tool on this one. And this is how you do it. I'm just going to pull it up here and then... Oh, my word. I don't want to use that one. Okay. Let's see if this one will... Hmm. It's interesting. Um... So I have this little, perfect. And I'm just gonna do it with each side. That's more about it. Okay, there we go. And so the reason that we I uh, do it that way, and I also often I'll just wing it. Um, but what it does do is it, it ensures that you don't have a lot of bulk on your corner. But using this little tool also ensures that you leave enough extra material there that you don't have um, you won't have an open space. Does that make sense? Uh, because what we don't want is we don't want to have to do this and then have um uh if we cut too much off you'll be able to see the brown underneath how's that there we go <laughs> i was finally able to get the words out okay okay so I've got all of my little bits out of the way and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I folded everything. This is cute. Okay, I like this material. Material. <laughs> well, it is a material of, of sorts. Um, okay, I've got that all folded, and so I could do a couple of things on here. I think, I think with this one, I'm going to use some tape. Um, it'll make it quick and easy. Ish. Let's see. And I'm really just going to. Put a wee bit of tape right there. I may also use a wee bit of glue, but you can't even see what I'm doing. But for right now, I'm just going to use tape. Um, I will say there, there's a method to my madness using tape and not glue for this one. The glue dries super fast, but sometimes, especially when you're looking at something with the tape, because I'm sorry, with the folds in this, um, I want to have the tape that will hold it in place while the glue has a chance to dry. Pretty simple. All right, I am also going to, if I can find my brusher. Gracious, I'm losing everything today, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna just give it a good burnish. <laughs> Did I put tape on it? I didn't put tape on that one. <laughs> you guys are supposed to tell me. Okay, so I'm going to put some more tape on this side. I think it's the one side I missed. Um, when we go through and we burnish, it just um, helps mesh the fibers in the paper to the glue on the tape. But again, 
that's going to help hold everything in place. So I don't um, lose things. I'm trying to decide which ones I want to put down first and second. I'm still going to have more of an edge there than I really like to have. Huh, it's interesting. All right, I'm just going to do, so I'm going to do my top and bottom first. Um, always do the opposites. Don't, uh, don't do this, then this, then, then go around. You'll end up having weird corners. Um, so I'm just going to do this, and I'm putting the glue right over the top of the tape. I know, it seems weird. But I'm also going to push those in. And again, that one's helping me out. Don't need a lot on that one. And get this one. These are the ones you've got to be careful with because of those corners. I want that corner to go in, so I'm going to push in on both sides. Just like that. Perfect. And we'll do the same thing with this one once we get that off. So with this one, we're gonna go ahead and push that down just a wee bit. is in here with me. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push down on that corner just a wee bit. Oh, yes. Okay, one side done. I'm pretty happy with that one. Okay, let's grab the other one. Let me cap my glue for a minute. this is going to become right there. We're going to actually attach it and we're actually going to attach it. Yeah. Right. I right, just wanted to look at that real quick. I'm going to do this again. That actually gives me a pretty thick corner. It's okay. I usually cut mine a little bit closer um, for something this small. For my bigger albums, that's perfect. And I know that sounds strange, but this is very thin. This is like, you know, just a slight grade. This this is about cereal box. So you could actually use a cereal box to do this. That's about the, the thinness of this particular paper. I actually am gonna, I'm gonna trim it just a wee bit more. I'm gonna get that just a wee bit closer. I sure as heck don't want to touch the corner. So you can see that. So this time I'm gonna, it's a lot closer. There we go. All right, 
that out of the way. And again, we're gonna use our tape really quickly. Let's see if I can remember to do it on all the sides <laughs> this time. And I thought I had, yeah, sorry, looking for something else again. Oh, here it is, yes. This is something I like to use just to help cut the tape. I know it seems odd, but it really is quite useful and it's really just one of the little square um, stamp holders. It's for you to put your, your stamps onto, but what's the name of that? I honestly don't think I know. Stamp holder? No. Stamp pad? No, that's not right either. Somebody, one of you guys knows, I'm sure you do. Is there an official name for this thing? We could just call it Cutter Extraordinaire. <laughs> okay. I know. Y'all have met my husband. You know why I'm silly. <laughs> Come by it honestly. Okay. So, burnish, burnish, burnish. And let's get this off. Put that, that tape went over a little bit. So remember, you uh, just decide. You're either going to do the two sides or you're going to do top bottom. But you really don't want to do um, you know, top side. I should have done this first, actually. That helps. You really don't want to do it the other way. You don't want to do um, a top and then a side and then the bottom and then another side. Because it's just going to give your project a little bit it's just not going to work as well. I don't know how to put that. Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom. Mostly it's about your corners. I'm going to... Okay. So you notice that I'm not having as many problems with my... Um, or I, I'm not going to have as many problems with my corners, I don't believe. I, had, I think there was too much bulk still in that corner when you have so little for it to wrap around. I still need to bring this in slightly. There we go. You know, I just really spoke too soon. I'm not gonna have as many problems with my corners, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh. There we go. So funny. And there we go. And just gonna bring that in. Nice. Okay, it worked. So we have a front and we have a back. Super exciting. Now, there is more to come. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach the front. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's that was not the best move, but it happens and it was okay. 
Okay, now I'm really going to go ahead and get a decent amount. But again, just be careful. You really don't want your glue going oozing out in places you don't want it. I'm just going to take this one side. I do want to line it up pretty close to the back. Maybe not exactly. And I'm eyeballing. Let's see how well we did. That's pretty good. Okay. And now my back. With the back, I'm going to be paying more attention to the to the uh, the front piece that I've already put on, so that I am kind of matching those because that. Yep. So. didn't work for me. I'm going to have to do it like that's better. All right. All right. We are starting to come together. Yes. Okay. So now we've got the main booklet ready to go. The next thing to do is we're gonna start putting some papers on the inside to kind of to cover up this, to cover up some of this envelope space so that we have a place. Um, because remember, we have a slide in right here, but we can't leave this open. And we wanna cover it, with, well, we want to. We wouldn't have to necessarily. I mean, another way you could do this that I'm just thinking about, if you have signatures and things on here, you could always cut the front off and put it here and cut the other front off and put it here. And then you have this sort of wonderful memories with and still be able to fully see those things. That's not my plan today, but I think it's actually, you know, could really work well. Um, let me put these things away. Okay, so... Uh, now I'm just going to pick, start picking some um, some papers to go on the inside here, and for the most part, I'm going to make them the same size as the cards. Um, actually, for the for these, I'm going to make them slightly smaller so I get that nice white edging. Um, so I'm not going to use that one to start with. And I definitely want the things that I picked to be, to work together. Now I can do, you know, one same thing on both sides. If that's what I, you know, if that's what you really want to do, you can do two different things. Um, I'm one, and I, you could also, something that I may end up doing is putting the same one here and the same one here and then the same two here. It's kind of where my brain is going at the moment. And what do I want to start with? I love this one so much, but what would I put here? Um, uh, hmm. Okay. This is, this is it. This is my indecisiveness. Okay, that might be cute. On the inside there. And what should I do the next one? Maybe this is going to be the harder part. This is where I'm going to struggle because I love all of this paper very much and I think it's all adorable. 
And it all really works well together. I actually think I'm going to use these. Let's start with these. Of course it all works together. It's meant to go together. So my plan right now is to do this one here and that one here. And then I'm going to do, I don't know if I'll get two of these. And then I'm going to do these on the inside. And that doesn't pop as much, does it? Maybe I'll do something like that. Okay, I'm do that one. But I really like this one and I like the way it's gonna combine with that. All right, now I just have to figure out what, what cutting I'm doing. So my envelopes are uh, five. So I think I'm gonna do four and three quarters by six and three quarters. No, by seven. No, not by seven. Six and three quarters. Yeah, no. Four and a half. I'm gonna do four, four and a half. I know I've got to really work it out in my brain, but if I do, if I just do a quarter, I'm only gonna end up with an eighth of an inch all the way around, and that's not gonna work for me. So I'm going to, to start by doing these. Okay. This way. So I'm gonna do what I say, five. I'm gonna look at it one more time. No, six and a half. So we're gonna do this at six and a half. We'll see how well the first one comes out. No, I said six and three, six and three quarters for the first one. Ah ha ha ha. Six and three quarters. That's pretty cute. That works. And what did I say? Four and four and a half. Ah, this should be the four and a half. Let's look at four and three quarters and then I can go from there. Hmm. So the envelopes are just such a weird size, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna trim it a little bit more. I'm gonna go with the four and a half. I'll show you what that's going to look like. So I wanted to make sure that I have a similar amount of space all the way around. With this first one, I'm going to go with both of these at the same rate. And with the next one, we'll see, but I'd really like the way that looks on the inside cover. That's cute. Okay, so let's see, we did, I'm gonna double measure it. I did four and a half and I did six and three quarters. So, six and three quarters by four and a half. All right, let me move that up. And I'll show you this. So with this, with this one, here's how this is gonna work. And I know we, we just gotta be, I have to be thinking about it as I do it. Um, what's going to be important is at the base here, I don't wanna fill all of this in. 
because if I do that, I can't slide a card in from this side, right? So I'm gonna do this on this cardstock. I'm just gonna go around on this one. And then here, I'm just gonna fill in a little bit just so we get good adhesion for the rest of it. Then I wanna make sure I'm getting this nice and even. There we go. Cute. And now I should have, so now I should be able to Get this one in. It shouldn't have gone all the way through. <laughs> Let's just make sure that that has time to dry. Right there. Okay. Let's get that one time to dry. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. We're going to go all the way around it. And I'm going to put a little bit in here. I'm not getting too close to the edges because I really don't. Do, do, do. Let me make sure that that is pretty evenly done on all the edges. And again, There we go. So I've got a pocket. I can put a card in there. I can put other things in there. Super cute. Now, I also want space to put um, pictures or other mementos, right? So I'm going to do, these are all so off, it's so funny. Um, that's about four and a half. I'm going to cut about four and three eighths by I'm going to cut my cards four and three eighths by six and five eighths. So my next cut is six and five eighths. Maybe that's a quarter. Okay. Just gonna double check it here, yep. <laughs> I might triple check it. What did I say? Four and three eighths? Because we're just under a half here. That's a quarter. That's three eighths. Four and three eighths. Oh, yeah. And you can see now how none of that's going to make any difference. So let me do another one like that. So it was six and five eighths. And that's for my cards. Let me tell you that this is, these are the cards that I have. So I'm working with, you know, I'm just working with what I've got. Your cards may be completely different sizes. These are the ones from the cards that I was using are ones from Dollar Tree. And they were ones, these were the, um, it's three eighths, not five eighths. They were the uh, two, four, two, four dollar ones. So if you're using a different brand or you're using something else, 
Now, this one, I don't have to worry about. I'm not going to leave spots or slots. These are going to make it a little bit easier. I do like working in um, the sections. All right, I'm going to try to get this one. There. I like the edging, too. All right, that one. And this one. Now. Don't get away from me. All right, I said I was gonna do this all in real time, but we are well over an hour. So I'm going to take a break and I'm going to decide on the rest of my pictures. But first I wanna show you what we've got so far and I'm loving it, guys. I really, really am. Now I am gonna put a clasp of some kind on the front of this. There's a couple of things that we still need to do. This one has a very tight slot, but these, and, oh yeah, I'm sorry. And this one doesn't have any at all. Remember, this is just the cards in the middle. Very substantial. This one, you're gonna have a slot on either side. So I can do one here and one there. And once we get the extra paper on, these just become really substantial. So we went from, we went from that to that. I, I don't know, guy. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving it. I really, really am. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do some cutting, and when we come back, we're just going to put it, put the rest of it together real quick and finish this up. So I've been here just uh, cutting and pasting and talking as if you were right there with me, but you weren't because I hadn't pressed play <laughs> or start. I'm sorry, not play, but start. So I finished this part. Let me show you what I've got so far. We At least we did the first couple pages together. I then went back through. So um, we did the first few pages together. This is where we are on our envelope album. I'm so sorry. I've gone through and put the pages together. I am really loving the way this turned out. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just have to laugh. Um, I, re I just really am loving the way this turned out. Um, it came together really well. I think in the future I might do just like one less um, signature. But it turned out pretty well. So now I just have to do some embellishments. I want to do the cover and then I might do a little bit on a, some of the pages. Again, I'm so sorry. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and, and finish, finish this album off. Um, I wanted to show you, I pulled out some of these things. Um, these are all some of the different uh, stickers and um, embellishments that I got from Timu. So here's my thought. Oh, and this is actually from the Dollar Tree. This is this pack from the Dollar Tree or from that pack. So I thought I might put that one almost like center and then pick one of these guys to go in the middle because that'll give me a cute little vintage-y. Um, not jet propelled. The soda one's cute. I don't mind that it goes over the edges. Valentine greetings. That's a sweet daughter one. I think I'm going to leave that. Oh, that's adorable. I almost think that I could do it like that. Something like that. That's a contender. Um, oh, this one actually cuts out more. Look at that. That's actually really cute, but... No, that one's not quite right. Speeding on your way to Valentine's Day. That one's cute. Um, hmm. 
Little roller skates are adorable. Okay. That's a contender. I should think about this ahead of time. Do you all prefer it? Let me know in your comment section. Do you like it when I just kind of work through it, all, all of us together? I like that one. Or would you rather I have it picked out ahead of time and you can just see me putting it together? The mermaids. Okay. I think it's going to be one of these three. There's that cute little one. I almost feel like... Let me try something here. I feel like it needs like one more element. Oh, I do have... Hmm. I, could, I could do this. No, that's too busy. I wonder... Oh, where are they? Let me, let me come right back. And I promise I'll double check to make sure that I'm recording when I come back. Okay, so I had this Mondo Llama uh, from last year. I got it on some kind of a deep clearance, um, heart doilies, and it had this pack. Um, it's got three different sizes. And in the pack, We've got this cute white one that is about a perfect fit. And I am honestly just trying to decide if I want to put it in front. It really pops. Or if I put the, the um, oh, I'm back. It should have said in back. If I put the heart like that and I put this one I like the layering going on there. But is it disappearing? And should I maybe... Now it's all about experimentation. So I'm thinking maybe... I'm not double checking to make sure I'm actually running or else I'm just talking to myself. When I talk in the videos, I really don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I feel like I'm talking to all of you. Um... And that's because I am. I, by the way, this is how I organize and keep my doilies together. This is just a one of these plastic folders. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, and all of the different, whenever I buy the doilies, I keep them in here for use later. So I went and grabbed this. I'm looking to see if I have any others that might be, like I've got that one, but it's too big. It's such a specific size that I have to go for. All right, we're going to... I think this is the right size. I'm kind of looking at this. And I'm wondering if I should do just one more level of... Oh, I actually really kind of like that. I kind of like that. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. I'm going to go ahead and layer them first so I can get them all together here. I'm not going to try to, to layer while I'm on the... Let's see, I think that's about right. Oh, nope, it's off, it's off, it's off. It's so hard to get these absolutely down. Luckily, with the glue, there we go. That should be fine. Okay, now, I also want to make sure that this is just one. So I, th I think I'm going to do it like that. I could make that go down even further. I just love the way that that, I'm gonna make that go down further. I like the way it's it's looking like that. I think it just makes it pop. You have just so much dimension going on there now. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's not where I want that. Oh, oh, this is so cute. Try 
trying to get it on there just, just right. That's about right. And then, and then they're gonna go right there in the middle. Oh. I hope you guys like here. So you can see better what I've done. There's not, you know, it's not total symmetry. It's not. I just kind of like it. And I hope you all like it too. I'm trying to decide where these, where my little kitties should go. <laughs> I hope you like it because I'm loving it. Okay. So then I'm just going to put this on here and I'm going to make it actually go a little bit higher. I haven't decided if I want to add anything else down below, but I'm ready to attach this. Oh, dang, I'm having a hard time holding on to these today. <laughs> okay, so I left it a little bit higher because I think I might want to put a title down here. Um, but I've got plenty of space if I decide to put a title, even if I just... Did you know if your alarm goes off, it stops your phone? <laughs> um, okay, so... Love these, love these, love these. If I remember, and I'm not guaranteeing I will because y'all know my memory is like a sieve, I will try to link them. Um, okay, I'm loving that. I love that I've got space down here to put some kind of a title. Um, I think I might just do Valentine. I'm going to look around and see if I can find a uh, title for that. But for right now, I, may, I might leave it as it is. I did want to also show you all. So here is just a, another card. And I want to want you to see how fun this is because the card literally just slides right inside. Now I'm not gonna push it all the way down because <laughs> that could be problematic. I wouldn't be able to get it back up again. Um, I, actually I would, that's, that's not a problem. Um, there's a couple things you can do if you are concerned about sliding your card all the way in and not being able to pull it up. Um, it's not my favorite, but um, you could punch. I'll try to get this open a little bit. So I could do like a half circle punch right here. And that would give me that extra space to get the card back out again. I could also put a, um, when I slide the card in, I could do something like this. Let me show you what I mean. This is, you know, I could use a really pretty ribbon. I'm going to do this upside down. And I could just have it go in like this and have the ribbon in there. And then when I want to, I just pull it out. A um, couple of different ways that you can do that. I should probably, probably put it in like this. So... Um, you could also put pictures inside here or just little other mementos. You could attach, you could just attach the cards. We talked about this earlier, just so attaching the cards right here instead of doing, uh, maybe doing some of these things that we did earlier too. I could have a card here instead to open up from that side and a card that opened up from that side. Um, so for birthdays and Christmas and things like that, well, I mean, for any of this, I, I like that idea. I just didn't have any right now, um, but I'm, I'm liking that if, you know, this also can be just a regular album. Um, you don't even have to do, the envelopes do make it nice and easy, but you don't have to cut them open the way I did. You don't. Um, this has become very substantial feeling. All the paper that I added, which was a really good weight paper, it's all just really, Nice. Cute. I just really like these. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to add a few little, 
Um, so this, these would be great places to put pictures or, um, I'm trying to think if I've got any. Mm -hmm. Actually, it would be cute to do something like your heart and put a picture in here, or you could cut down a piece of white and stamp photo here. I'm going to look at these and see if I find some. Oh, I think that kitty is really cute right there. See if I find some that I want to put on there, which immediately I will because these are adorable. These are just adorable stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and put my kitty here. It leaves me plenty of room to put a picture here and add some information there. Oh, I just do like that kitty. Now she's going to go. She can go down in a corner somewhere. Huh. That one's cute. Maybe here. I'm going to, oh, too, too close. I'm going to do this so you can see some more of the ones. That's kind of cute up there. I mean, they're I want this one. I love that one. Let me see if I can get this one off. Just a few little embellishments. Oh, loving that one. All right, let's see what else we have here. Dog is really cute. Go like. Hmm. I, I for whatever reason I kind of enjoy keeping things. I like her up there actually. Um, on the corners. Uh, um, for me, I think it's just because I can. That means I leave plenty of space on the. Um on the page for other things. And I, I just like the embellishments too. It's like when you cut something out of, of a piece of paper or, um, a piece of material. You don't, you know, you don't put it in the center. At school with my students, I call it conservation of materials. So, Here we go. Oh, no. If the camera's moving, it's because I'm stomping around. He is stomping around. Okay. Hello, wave. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> oh, look at that one. I think that one goes right there. Or does that one go right there? I'm having fun with some of these. I'm kind of going through them quickly. That one. She's cute. All right, I put a few of these aside real quick. Ones that I think I want to use. I'm pretty sure that these are the same pack. I... really like this one. I, again, I don't think I need to put something on every page, um, but I do like adding a few embellishments to some of them. And I love these little ones. They're so cute. Now, there's also a little trick. If I wanted to leave it so you could slide it under, I would put a little bit of, um, like, powder. No. I'm not going to do anything there right now. Uh, I'm kind of liking what that one is doing on its own. I don't want to, for a reason, I want to do that one. Now, this is, of course, one of our cards, but we um, we actually solidified it together. You don't have to do that, like I said. Let's see, maybe, is there anything else I want to do to this one? I was thinking this would be cute. She's just going to blend in. Maybe right here. 
I don't think so. That's got enough going on. This one has the tickets, and somewhere in here, where, where did it go? Somewhere in here we had the popcorn. Oh, daggone it. I'm not going to be able to find it if I do it this way, am I? There it is. That could be really cute. And we've got this wonderful little bird. I don't want to put the popcorn there, though. I think I'm going to put the popcorn on that last page. Please be mine. And the last page. All right, it's done. So I didn't use a huge amount of elements, uh, or not elements, of, um, <laughs> of, of um, additional items. But I do like the little added, added pieces. My brain is really fried, it's been a long day. All right. Tell me what you think. And uh, and tell me if you see the mistake I made. Because I did absolutely make a mistake. But I'm kind of loving it. Um, I think it turned out pretty darn well. And uh, I ended up, I decided not to put um, a closure on it at the moment. But I want you to see from the top how thick it became. So by having this expansion here, it's not sitting like that. If I didn't do this, if I hadn't left that expansion there, it would be like popped open. But instead it sits nice, nice and straight. I would be tempted, I have to say, um, I'm kind of tempted to either do some kind of a belly band or to create a, um, a little special box for this to go into. That would be cute. All right, that's it. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you make one, I'd love to see it. Love for you to let me know if you, if you end up making one or more than one. These actually go together pretty quickly once you start working on them. Um, you know, a couple of hours for, for a whole album. It's just, it would be such a cool thing to do for, oh my gosh, I just thought about something. Wouldn't this be fun to do for like a teenager's birthday? Include some some pictures of them growing up and then in each pocket you could put money or gift cards things like that that would just be really fun because you know teenagers really like money <laughs> oh yeah i got a teenager um okay thanks for hanging out with me i will see you guys next time cheers